Solar radius is a unit of distance used to express the size of stars, in astronomy equal to the current radius of the Sun. We can say that the solar radius is approximately 695,500 kilometers which is about 10 times the average radius of Jupiter, 110 times the radius of the Earth. That's why we use this unit, to measure the dimensions of the stars, which are one of the largest objects we can find in our visible universe. Comparing our Sun to the stars in the grand scheme of the cosmos, it turns out our Sun isn't that big at all. But, before we start, let's talk about Betelgeuse, which is the 19th biggest known star. Betelgeuse, also known with the name of Alpha Orionis, is about from 950 to 1200 solar radii. She is the second brightest in the constellation of Orion. If Betelgeuse were at the center of the solar system, its surface would extend past the asteroid belt, possibly to the orbit of Jupiter and beyond, wholly engulfing Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. The star is classified as a red supergiant of spectral type and is one of the most luminous observable stars. Such brilliance comes at a price however. Someday soon, astronomically speaking, it will run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then rebound in a spectacular supernova explosion. When this happens, the ultras will brighten enormously for a few weeks or months. But when will it happen? Probably not in our lifetimes. But, in fact, no one really knows. It could be tomorrow or a million years in the future. At the position 10 we have a H Scorpii, which dimensions start from 1287 to 1535 solar radii. Then we have KY Cygni at the position 9, which is 1420 solar radii. VY Canis Majoris at the position 8. This star previously was considered to be a star so large, that it contradicted stellar evolutionary theory, a newly improved measurement has brought it down to size. Now we know that its radius is about 1420 solar radii, with a margin of possible error more or less about 120 solar radii. The position 7 is for VV Sepi A, which is star in a binary system. This star can have a radius starting from 1050 to 1900 solar radii. V Exegetary, at the position 6, is a late-type red supergiant pulsating variable star. It is located in the constellation of Sagittarius and it's one of the largest stars discovered so far, with a radius of 1520 solar radii. At the position 5 we have Westerland 1, 26 which radius is 10 solar radii bigger than the last one. This star is 1530 solar radii. WOHG 64 is our star at the position 4, and its radius start from 1550 to 1900 solar radii. It's 168,000 light years away from Earth. RW Sepi is an orange hypergean star in the constellation Cepheus. Its estimated radius is 1,636 solar radii, which is larger than the orbit of Jupiter. This star comes at the position 3 of the larger known stars. At the position 2, we have NML Cygni, its distance from Earth is estimated to be around 5,300 light years. The diameter of NML Cygni is about 1,660 solar radii. At the position 1, as the biggest star found in our visible part of universe, there is UY Scuti, 1708 times the solar radius. Under exceptionally good conditions with no light pollution, UY Scuti can be seen using a small telescope or large binoculars, as a reddish star with a faint smudge along the stars of the Milky Way. To better understand the dimensions of UY Scuti, let's see a comparison with our Sun.
Looking at this comparison, what is the main question that comes out? The answer is, you are insignificant, so stop posting status on socials because no one cares. Especially me. By the way, I was joking, I love social networks and I love you too. You can post and share this video, but just this video, and don't forget to subscribe.